Okay, let's give this eight, eight last chapter of Lucinia a shot. Hopefully this will work out. If not, then I can always wait for the 10th board because then I'll still have a couple days to do it afterwards. Okay, first order of business is very obvious. Oh, and then we're just gonna expand the turn, because why not? Want to get ready to work as soon as possible. Go ahead and dump the speed speed up on them. They're immune to the attack down, but I'm honestly fine with that because it just gives me an opportunity to uh, have another debuff slot to work with. And let's dump the speed speed up on them. We're going to try to keep this up for the next time. Let's see, do I want to lock in those two debuffs? Let's see, what's the other debuff? Mm. If I lock those in, then I won't be able to make it, take any advantage of trying, so maybe not. Let's see, get this up immediately. Then again, do I really care if I can't use Trine? Honestly, I don't feel like I'm going to need it with Wall here. Let's see, let's tap this to keep turn count down. I don't know how strict the turn count's gonna be here. Um, sure, I don't want to take a max break down, so let's put up there. That'll probably be the only thing I'll be countering will be those troop attacks. Because thanks to the constant taunt, I'm not gonna, not gonna get hit in any other way. See, I don't want to spam too much just yet. I want to look for a more opportune chance to do that, like when I have the first effect scrolling. Uh, okay, yeah, you little, uh, reporter button, you're gonna need to get out of the way, get over there. Because I need to access that top button there. Never said this was going to be professional. Um, keep the shield strong. The damage output's looking good so far. Oh no. Hmm, I could put trying on them for no particular reason. See, that's the problem, though, is that the HP attack disable immediately gets pushed off. So I don't have enough debuff slots to work with. But that's okay. I can I can live with that. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to need to get there. Let's 
見切った終わりだ And looks like we're approaching the 80% mark. That's when the war first shows up, I believe. So we don't want to drop, don't want to drop the stun splash too off of them. Want to make sure that stays up. Triple annulled. There's the orb. Let's get the orb bowling on the other guy. Why not? Thanks to Wall's taunt, though. Oh, a launch. Why, yes, thank you. I will take it. Why, yes, thank you. I will take this other launch as well. I didn't see how strong those shields were. 48k? Should be alright. It's gonna have to be alright, because I ain't gonna have no option other than to tank these. Because these group attacks aren't going to come out fast enough. So I'm just going to have to hope that Wall can take these. We'll find out, won't we? Which means I can also say bye bye to all the debuffs, so that's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Snap. Okay, yeah, I can tank that really easy. Oh, and then I reset the other orb because you don't have to counter attack the guy who has the orb in order to reset the orb. That's nice. So the other one doesn't even go off. See, I think this personal buff just raises his int raven speed. Okay, that's not the worst thing. And that guy's gonna deliver a group attack, so his orb's going to get reset again. Yeah, I want to keep starting the legs out. Aww. I can't counterattack you if you... I can't counterattack you if it freaking misses. Uh, though now I do kind of need to shave his bravery before I explode. Because that would be a problem otherwise. want to bother resetting it? No, because it's just going to get it's just going to get removed again. So, what's the point? Just 
take as much advantage as I can. Point. Point. And a counterattack comes too late. Uh, I don't know where B's turn went, but it's kind of gone, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, okay. Well, if I'm dodging the Max Brave down, that's not a bad thing. Eh, you're already taunted, so I might as well just kill you. Okay, let's put this back up. Of course I get a text from the middle of recording. And then one of these. So far this doesn't seem to be going so badly. I mean, his int br their int brave is really big when they have that Blanche prop up. So that's unfortunate, but... Honestly, that's not the worst thing. I can handle that. See, I kind of want to wait for them to set up triple before I go in with the first. Because then... Because when they have triple active, their defense goes down. There we go. I kind of want to wait for the other one to get it up, too. Uh, okay, Machina's shield's about to run out, so better watch that. No, thank you. Stop that. Pass the turn, let's pass the turn, see what happens. Keep doing that reset. Yeah, there we go. Is it burst time? I think it's burst time. Okay, well, that was, timing was a little unfortunate there, but you know what? That's okay. We can make this work. Because the countdown should not advance while in burst mode if the uh, text wasn't lying. Yep, that countdown is still frozen at 9, so that's good, that's good. The countdown can appear while you're in the middle of first mode. That's something. Oh, hello. Hey, Lawrence. Why, yes. Don't mind if I do. Why not? Point. Hmm. 
after your 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 facings on. I like how much it can be rotated. Hey, broke a million, nice. Ew. Ew. No. Okay, everybody shields are up just fine, so I mean. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Let's see, is it time to bring in the Noctis and try to stack burst effects? I think it is. Mm -hmm. Who do I want to steal Kurowet though? Um... I don't want to do this one because then I'm gonna like drop a whole bunch of the free turns and stuff. I think I'm gonna stick you in stack. Unfortunately, Nock just lost a lot of damage because I accidentally didn't consider his personal buff. Yeah, I've made that mistake multiple times before where I don't consider Nock's personal buff and then I just kind of fail. Nock kind of needs to shield up though. Oh, I see you have 90k Brave. No, you don't. Instant Brave. Yep. And, okay, and his orb didn't trigger? I guess because the Noctis Burst thing actually counts as a counter and reset it when it hit zero, so it didn't trigger. I mean, yeah, I'll take it. Then, let's see here. No, no, I got warp step going. I don't want to summon where I got warp step going. That'd be a waste. Okay, let's try... Pumping Noctis up a bunch. Uh, I think we got this on the ropes. Let's try this box later on here. Warp step. Here. Continue those great pumps to get that for the first effect. Nice, I'm loving it. Hi, what's going on with this star? Unfortunately, again, because of the lack of personal loss in the game, we can do lower, but personal key loss, that is. Still pumped in a lot of damage. I got warp step going, which is keeping the turn count down. Go this way and get some damage. Okay.
Time to start turn stealing. Time to start turn stealing. The orbs don't count down either when you're in summon mode, so that's good. Big spicy hits. Nice. Very good. Ooh, a launch. Why, yes. Thank you. I do like the sound of that. What are those orbs at? Five? Well, I know one way to prevent an orb from being a problem. Kill one of them. Taking two orbs back to back could be a problem, but if I kill one, that won't be a problem. Question is, can I do that in time? Well, I'm certainly going to try. Okay, he can't have that much left. No, there's still another left on the stage with him. Be sure. Gone. Aha! Not good enough. And we will use this to destroy that guy. It doesn't matter, but whatever. I'd say that went pretty smoothly. And then obtained rewards not connected from normal road because I forgot about the mission that said use eight. So that's one way to check it off the list. Now where's my real reward? Three tickets and 25 guard tokens. Sweet, 